because the old days when you know you're trying to forget your okay. trouble. Mm. It's like, hey, so Joe, you actually had time to sit down with Vincent Tan in in Japan, right? About an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Hey, okay, fine. You know, what what's he like? Because you know the man's actually quite. I won't say reticent. I mean, we know him. We know him by name, but you yeah, know, what's yeah. he like to talk to? Uh, okay, when we first went there, me yeah. and another reporter, we went out for a while, grabbed a smoke actually. Yeah. When we were coming back in, we were looking at him and he acknowledges, he smiles, waves. Yeah. And uh, we sort of knew that he's in a good mood. Oh, that's good. You get that energy from him, you know. Yeah, yeah. And when you're going around the hotel, you can understand why. All right. It's something else, man. The hotel, the pond outside is about 800 years old. It's beautiful. Yeah. And this, I, I think it's called Japanese maple or something like that. The trees. Yeah, so nice. Orange colour leaves and everything. You yeah, know? yeah, because it's actually going about autumn around I there. I guess so, that's what they were telling me. And uh, one of the reporters asked him, could he spare us five minutes to talk? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? And he joins us, he cracks a lot of jokes, and he sits there for a good, I think the first round was 56 minutes. Yeah. And another 20 odd minutes he sat with us. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's that's... not often you get a guy, guys like, you know, at his level talking to you. Yeah, but so openly, you know. Exactly, but you said he was quite happy about the hotel. This is like the Kyoto Four Seasons. Yeah, yeah. It it, it looks like a gorgeous location. It is. It and is. I I would be smiling too because when I read your story, apparently he bought it for quote unquote a song three hundred and eighty million US. Yeah, but now it's worth how much more? Your calculations uh, were crazy. Yeah, it's it's like this. Uh, what he told us. Yeah. He bought the land for US fifty million. And the construction done by Taisei, if I'm not mistaken, cost the rest. Mm. But what he did when uh, it was a hospital earlier, mm. when they offered it to him, he sort of checked around to see. And he realized the hotel rates are really high and the land cost is cheaper than our Golden Triangle here. Wow. Yeah, so he bought it. It's five acres of land. 2008, right? He bought yeah, it? Yeah, 2008, after the crisis. Mm. And uh, it took some time to develop because next to it is a shrine or some holy place. Like, it's, so, it's Kyoto. Uh, They're surrounded by shrines yeah, yeah. everywhere. And so uh, it took some time, but he got he got the the requisite orders. Like, and oh, he built brilliant. it slowly. Yeah. All right. So actually, you went for like the grand opening. Yeah, is it? yeah. So the thing was, and here's funny, he's just opened it. It's really beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And you asked him whether he wants to, is he going to sell it? What happened was uh, we heard through the grapevine yeah. that there are people offering him. Okay. And uh, the offers are pretty good. They haven't reached his level of acceptance yet. That means, and I, uh, I mean, knowing him, shrewd businessman, he'll be quite a high asking price what he would ask exactly, for. Exactly, yeah. So we, uh, me and another reporter, we cornered him uh, after the event, after the grand opening, and uh, he. Uh, actually, we couldn't get to see him. The bodyguard said no, he's having a discussion. But we had luck; it started raining, so we came back into the hotel. So you actually managed to get yeah, him. Yeah. So what did you? What did he? What did he say when you actually asked him whether he wants to sell this thing? It went something like this. He said, uh, "Other than family, everything else is for sale at the right price." <laughs> oh God! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and he laughed and he walked off. You know? Oh wow! And but he admitted that they were offers. Wow. Well, I, I suppose because Japan's <laughs> leading up to their 2020 Olympics. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know if you know this, but actually in Japan, they're short of hotel rooms, you know. There's I didn't no, know that. I didn't yeah, know that. actually, yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. don't have that many hotel rooms. So, of course, if you're sitting on a hotel and, you know, he bought it for such a great price. I mean, yeah, I, can, yeah. I can understand why probably there are so many people wanting to buy it. But he's got pieces in like Okinawa as well. Yeah, that was interesting as well. He told us, he didn't want to tell us the price he bought it for. Okay. Uh, but he bought it like about like, well, a year after Kyoto? He said 2008, but when I checked the annual report, it said 2009. Maybe so around that area to close la. the deal might have taken about a year. La. Okay. And uh, in the annual report, it stated that the holding cost is 82.81 million. And he got offered 10 to 12 times what he paid. But he's That's, not developed it down there yet, No, not yet. But he's already, uh, I think he's uh, roped in four seasons already. Wow. So yeah. this, this Kyoto one is like, almost like the, the showpiece, right? Yeah, See what yeah, I can yeah. do. Yeah. Tell, tell me about the hotel. I gotta know because I don't think I'll ever stay at US Towers in a night. But tell me about it. It's something else, man. I mean, when you when you just see it from the outside, it's very pretty, very nice. Yeah. When you go down to the restaurant, there's an outside portion that's just beside the lake, you know, and that lake is about 800 years old. And according to Dante Vincent, he says that uh, uh, it was owned by a samurai chief. Wow. Yeah, it's got history, you know. I mean, then you look at it, you know. It's, 800 years old, man. But it's inside, beautiful. very modern. Yeah, inside is very modern. Yes. But you have that, it's so silent, you know. 
So peaceful. No, yeah, very peaceful. Yeah, okay. You, you, you can just sit there for hours and do nothing, you know, and look at the fish and the greenery. Oh my God. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. At US thousand a night, I bet you yeah, peace I, must be Yeah, I mean, I, I can't draw for nuts, but I would have loved to, you know, like, <laughs> paint something like that. Okay, just... Okay, but the thing is, Berjaya and all their stuff, did he actually mention to you at all whether he wants to spin it off into like a real We asked him if he wanted to unlock value. That's the word we use, unlock value in yeah. his hotels. Yeah. And he said there are a lot of proposals in place now. They're looking at it, but he didn't want to say what exactly. But I think about 18 to 20 hotels they have, you know. So it'll be worth quite a bit. And uh, we know they're profit-making the hotel division. So, so the, yeah, it'll be quite, quite interesting. And maybe the, if Kyoto is any indication? I think the jewel in the crown is Kyoto and mm. Okinawa is another three to four years will be ready. Mm. And we met the Four Seasons uh, founder as well, Isidore Sharp. He's like quite excited about Okinawa as well. After Kyoto, of course, la, it's so beautiful. Can't imagine seeing anything like that. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.